Oh, I put the girl in there with the boy rabbit. And uh, he's over there stomping. Trying to get her to go again. He's done fell off five times. She's not having it. If I go over there really close, they quit doing it. He quit stomping and now this one's starting to stomp. He's never had a girlfriend, so he don't even know what he's doing. Ah, uh, that rabbit right there is a girl. She's next. I'm gonna bring a little bit up here and let a little bit have his fun. And as soon as he's done with her, he'll go over to that uh, orange looking rabbit there, or I don't know what color you call her. She's, she's kind of a yellowish or orange mix color. I was hoping he'd get back up on her again, but I guess not. I'm going to have to do something with their cages, though. Support them in the middle or something, because when both of them's in there, uh, they are uh, absolutely just, they bent the cage where I got the door cut open. He's chasing her. She'll submit here in a minute. He's about to get up on her. The rest of the rabbits are getting all excited. The other boy is up on the uh, garden shed porch. I thought he was going to so he's getting ready to submit. If he falls off one more time, I'm going to go ahead and put her back in her cage. And he's like, up. Oh. There he goes. There he goes. Fell off. That's it. I'm going to put her back in her cage and I'd say, I don't know. I may let him go another time or two. When he hops in that cage right there, I'll go over here and show you with both of them in the cage. Let's see if I can walk over here. You'll see at the top right there how it's bent the cage. You don't think about them being that heavy, but you see how crooked the door is right in here where it don't line. It's not lining up. I'm going to probably have to go back right here across where the center support is and put a board from here over to that board and then put some more hooks down like I got there on the corners here it's just too much weight hanging that far across either that or I'm gonna have to put a support all the way across and I'd rather just do it in the middle I won't have to do it but just in the very middle is all I'll have to do I don't have to put it on each end but uh, we're getting ready to move anyway so all these cages and all have got to come down this whole thing here's Got to be took down. The post pulled back up out of the ground. I uh, just put them in the dirt and uh, covered them in because I knew I was going to be taking them out. They're not seaming it in as far as I remember. Uh, it's been a while ago since I built it, but uh, it's turned. It's been a really good little rub, rabbit hutch. Uh, it's got enough of overhang this way. And when I redo it, uh, I'm going to get new boards for these here. Uh, my son cut them a little bit short. And if you look, uh, let's see, it's on one of these. Yeah, you can see, well, I don't know if you can with the cameras. But uh, this overlaps by a lot. I can get another, probably what I'll do is just let the metal hang out. I'll probably leave these, let the metal hang out. I can get a, probably another three inches on each side. That'll help with a little bit of the rain. But yeah, I've got to pressure wash it too. I usually take pressure wash it once a year. Uh, they're not touching any of the 
urine that's on here because when they if he pees it goes out to the sides and on the post and stuff so uh, I do try to clean their cages I'll about every six months I'll take them out and spray them down but uh, this year I have it's just been raining so much I haven't had time uh, so we're getting into some a little bit warmer weather right now I got to get the uh, watering system back up and going because we're gonna be here probably for another six months it's just so muddy over at the new place I can't get anything done I can't get I did the bulldozer guy did come the other day and uh, pull some of the uh, trash and crap that was in the back and started pushing it around to the front so I can start uh, building a barn over there and get my fence done but right now I'm back stuck again because we've done had two days of rain so um, the ground don't look as wet up here but it's uh, rained for two days so we just it just dries out which we had really hard winds last night which helped a lot about drying things out but uh, the dogs are doing good I'll walk down there and show you them right quick and then I'm gonna end this video <laughs> you're gonna sp speak 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 good girl good girl I have to give her a petter now she, she did what I wanted her to do come here oh yeah Chloe don't like it when she does it but none of the rest of them speak so I will pet them just a little bit when I do it but Molly gets the most don't you girl I put a collar on, or a full body harness on her to, to where I could walk her uh, put one on Chloe and Chloe just chewed hers off overnight but Molly's done real good with hers Lily's always had one on um, the reason I like them is if they do get out and they take off because they're strong dogs you can't put a leash around their neck because you'll choke them to death they just they'll keep pulling they'll just pull and pull and pull and pull so with the full body harness it gets them around the uh, chest and pulls on them but I gotta tighten hers back up it was really just a little bit too a little bit too big but uh, I got to get one for Molly and put it on. I mean, yeah, Molly's got to have a smaller one too. But Chloe's got to have a really tight one. I may even get her one of the vest top. Um, something that she can't maybe get down and chew. Get it really good and tight on her and let her wear it for a while and get used to it. And then maybe she won't chew it. But she is the, she's the one that gets into everything. I've got uh, the goats here. You can see that she's about ready to be milked. Um, I'll get her here in a little bit and the um, salt only had one baby and if you look you can tell one side of her teeth's big and the other's not and uh, so she's gonna have yeah this is my baby still Chloe yes she follows me everywhere uh, she only has one side of her that the baby was drinking off of and the other side about dried up I don't know you can probably see it right there so we're still milking one side you get a little bit of milk out of this side here but mostly it'll be on the right side of her but little old pepper had three babies on her and she had sores all over her all over her teats she's trying to show dominance over her. salt's been a little bit pushy because she's got more weight and if you look at pepper she slimmed down to and i'm feeding her double She's getting double the food. She just, she had those babies on her and it just drawed her down. But, yep. Girls, where in the world have y'all been that y'all been getting y'all's noses dirty? Maybe that, I guess it must have been that um, feed bowls were just a little bit wet. And uh, the molasses on the sweet feed must have be what's on her noses. All right, well, I'm going to stop this. My little baby's here. I'm getting him a drink of water. But, uh, Lily, what are you doing down there hiding? Lily is my pretty girl. Right? She's my pretty girl. Ain't you, little Lil? You're my pretty girl, ain't you? 
Hmm. Babies are over here trying to get get in here. I don't like it because that's what they do. They lick your fingers. If you get your hands anywhere around their mouth, they want to lick you. Don't you? You like licking, don't you? Huh? Do I taste good? As long as you don't ever eat me. You old stinkers. Ah, right, well, I'm going to end it. Like I said, now you can really see how big our udder is. We'll get another three or four hours and then I'll milk her. Uh, if I milk her right now, I'll get somewhere around a little over a quart. Maybe a, um, I don't know. I don't think she's got it. She has probably a little over a quart. It won't be a half gallon yet. I'll let her go to this afternoon. I'll get a half gallon out of her. And hey, sugar. I sold Rosman, one of my other goats, with, uh, with, uh, Salts Baby. Because the guy just was going to get her. And I hated to sell Rosman because that was, uh, she was the one that we had that was the friendliest little goat. But, um. Uh, I had to do something because the guy was just going to take her on and I don't like just selling one goat at a time. Those two boys there, I'll try to sell both of them at the same time and tell somebody to take one of them and weather one of them and just leave the other intact. But uh, I'll have to check him make sure he ain't constipated. Ah, right. well, it's always something. What do you say, girl? Hmm. What do you say? Hmm. Ain't you a good girl? Hmm. Who's a good girl, Lil? Who's a good girl? Huh? Huh? She's pretty good with her babies, though. She'll she'll snap at Chloe here, but she won't snap too much at Molly. But this morning, Molly went over and started trying to eat her food. Molly's down there eating goat food now. Eat sweet feed. What are you eating? Huh? Can you speak? 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 Huh? Louder. Speak. Good girl. She knew she had to run up here to get petted for it. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, I'll see y'all on the next one, and y'all have a good one.